And I'm joined by Brent Willis. He's the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals. Brent, I'm looking at your tagline, Earth to Bottle, from Earth to Bottle. Where does that come from? Because as I understand it, you're kind of a mining company and a pharmaceutical company. Walk me through what it is that you actually do. Well, we uh, we discovered uh, a very rare pharmaceutical grade barium sulfate deposit. And we realized that uh, by transitioning into the pharmaceutical sector, we create the highest value possible for uh, on that barium sulfate. So it's uh, our whole motto transformed into a pharmaceutical company and we can take barium sulfate, we put it into a bottle and we get the highest margin possible you can out of that deposit. And we're also looking at iodine where we can do the same thing with, uh, with mineral rich brines in the US. We can extract iodine and create iodine contrast, which is uh, you know, over four and a half billion dollar market right now. Uh, so it's, it's all about uh, fully vertically integrating the, the contrast drug space wow. by owning our minerals, having control of our resource. We're not dependent on foreign imports and geopolitical instability around the world. And we're creating domestic supply chains for the North American market. Okay, so then you've recently announced this $1.9 million uh, sales contract for Smooth X, which is a contrast medium, as you uh, indicate. What are the plans as far as the expansion? This is your first international expansion, but what are the plans going from here? Well, we're, we have Health Canada approvals on five products. We have uh, released Smooth X for sales and... Uh, each product does a different thing within the radiology testing um, for different parts of the body. So Smooth X is used in CT scans for abdominal uh, scanning, and it's going out to market. We we have a contract in Latin America, and our whole rollout is based on uh, selling to countries that uh, that accept Health Canada approvals. So there's a there's Africa, Middle East, Latin America, Asian countries. So as we move forward, uh, getting all our products ready to go to market, we're signing contracts uh, globally. And in the Canadian market, because we're going up against a monopoly. So the barium contrast uh, industry is monopolized by a large uh, Italian firm. So we're, we're going up against the monopoly in Canada. Our, all our clients, they wanna use our products, but they want all five products before they can break away from that monopoly. And when they do, that allows them to diversify their portfolio with iodine to buy from other producers where right now they feel forced that they got to buy from the barium provider. So, okay. the so then let's talk about one of the critical markets, which is the United States. How can you get into the U.S. with your product? Yeah, 100 percent. So we're uh, we're working with the FDA currently. And uh, what we've decided, we're, we're probably looking at creating right now we're creating better products than what's in the market so we're moving forward with the fda for uh, approvals it's going to take about a year and it's uh and it's based on getting all our financing put together here over the next few months and uh and the the u.s market is very large and lucrative uh and we project uh you know in five years our our sales are with iodine and barium, we're roughly going to be around two hundred six million a year. Uh, you've got four other products. We just talked about the Smooth X. You've got Vision HD, Vision LD, Smooth HD, Smooth LD. Are they the same kind of a timeline at a year? Yeah. So uh, our vision, our vision products are our dry powder products that are consist of majority is all barium sulfate. So our, those are our highest margin products. The Smooth X. And the, the smooth brand are liquids. And uh, so all those products will be going to market. Brent, you've also committed to carbon neutrality and you're working with a company called Rain Cage uh, Carbon. Uh, talk to me about that relationship. Rain Cage has a very unique technology, uh, proprietary technology that we have access to where it extracts uh, carbon from emission streams from diesel, coal, uh, natural gas exhaust streams. 
So it's a byproduct and it's a very unique carbon. It's a, they call it an advanced carbon. It's a, a mix of carbon fullerenes. And uh, we're using those advanced carbons to produce new drugs for the radiology industry. So uh, when the uniqueness of carbon fullerenes is it, it really exemplifies uh, the atoms that you can put inside of those. So for example, gadolinium right now, it's, it can hang up in your brain. There's a lot of side effects where if you can get gadolinium inside a, a what they call a buckyball, then uh, it reduces all those side effects, makes it much safer, and it exemplifies that gadolinium uh, molecule inside to give you better scans. So it's very interesting technology. It's, 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 it's very disruptive as we move forward with uh, our new drug program. And as I understand it, you're also doing work in the MRI drug development space overall. Uh, and, and medical imaging, I guess, is key to that business. Where are you in that uh, spectrum? We're working with a company called Applied Pharmaceutical Innovations. They're, they're, a, they're an incubator for um, moving drugs from uh, R&D to all the way to, to market through the phase trial process. So we've partnered with them. We're going to be working with them with the rain cage molecules, creating new formulas and, and begin testing them here over the next year, uh, going into preclinical and uh, advancing uh, not just uh, MRI, but uh, also CT formulations as well. Right. Sounds exciting. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Fred Willis, he's the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals.